Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Here we go. There we go. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I see you again, woman of God. I know we just finished praying, but we are getting ready to go get started. In the name of Jesus Christ, I yeah. love you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Father God, we bless you, Lord God. We glorify, we magnify you. We trust in you today, Lord God. Ask you to have your will and your way, Lord God. Take control of our tongue, our mouth, our vocal cords, Lord God. 
Don't let us misspeak, Lord God, but guide our very words, our very thought processes, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, let us speak boldly. Hey, we want to be used by you to get your word across to the people today, Lord God, because it's urgent, it's desperate that we get it across to the people, Lord God, so that you can be saved and delivered and set free. And the people, yes. Yeah, come on. Yeah, da, da, ba, ba. See, destroy yoke from the day. Change hearts today. Change mindsets today, Lord God. Yes, God. Just have your will in your way. No flesh, no flesh, no flesh being glorified. We want to be pleasing in your eyesight today, Lord God. We just magnify you. We glorify you. We trust in you. In Jesus' message and mighty name. Amen. Lord, touch our ears, anoint our ears, anoint yes. our eyes, God. Lord, yes. God, Lord, check out see we pray for a sense of calmness, Lord God. Lord, that we hear every prophetic word that you give us to speak, God. Oh, God, Lord, check out see and not our will, God, but your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. You ready, woman of God? Yep. Amen. Let's see. Um, your cross is crooked too. Yeah. It's because I moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's is, I don't have time to go and try to pin it, but it's all good. It's there, just like God said. So, Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Mine, yeah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Lord, use us. Use us, God. Okay. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Okay. I'm going to start the sharing process, my God. Yeah. Lord, with your peace, my calmness, my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We you hear the music? Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Spotify. Yes. Welcome everyone to Ministerial Engagement. We're going to go Facebook Live. Please join us. Today is a word that you do not want to miss. So please join us and may God bless you. Oh, as we go forth in God's will and way. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining. Amen. Please share. Please share. Appreciate you. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hey, God, I'm on Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God got some material today. Jesus, my God. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, hallelujah. So we welcome everyone to minister engagement where we give God all the glory, yes. the honor, and the praise for he yes. is ahead of our life. Let yes. us go straight into prayer. Apostle Davidson, if you could lead us in prayer. Amen. Father God, we come before you this afternoon, this evening, Lord God, just blessing your name. Ah, we glory in your presence because we feel you even now, Lord God. Ask you to come on in even the more, Lord God, and have your will and your way today, Lord God. God, ask you to forgive us for anything we thought, said, and did that was out of your will. Our actions, our motives, our attitudes, oh God. Wash, purify, sanctify, cleanse. Mm. Today, Lord God, we trust in you today, Lord God. Your word shall go forth today, Lord God. Your word, your will shall be done today, God. Not our will, but your will be done. God, take over, take full control of us today, Lord God. Your handmade servant, your chosen vessels, Lord God. Use us today, Lord God. We surrender ourselves. We put flesh behind the cross. Yes. And ask you to step forward, Holy Ghost, and have Hallelujah. your will and your way. Your yokes today, Lord today, Lord God. Yes. Break chains, deliver, yes. Lord God, from the hands of the enemy. Open up blinded eyes and unstop, unstop the deaf ears, Lord God. Catch them by the very reins of our mind, Lord God, and send our thoughts on you. And what you're going to say this day. Your word says that you sent your word and you healed them and delivered them out of all their diseases. So God, have your way today, Lord God. We serve notice to the enemy even now. You have no place here. We bind your works and we cast him where Jesus would have to be cast. Yeah, Oh, hallelujah. 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 Everyone is going to watch even now. Hallelujah. Yes. Those are going to watch later, Lord God. Hallelujah. The blood over their minds, their homes, their families, their hearts. Yeah. In the name of Jesus yes, Christ, Lord. your will mm. and your way yes, today, God. Lord God. Mm, you get all the glory, you get all the honor, and all the praise, Lord mm. God. Give somebody a mind of water, be saved, delivered, and set free, Lord God. And seek for the Holy Ghost. And seek for a new church home where they can be fed with the unadulterated word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. 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 To God, we give all the honor and the glory. Yeah. Praise. Yeah. All praises belong to the Lord God. We're not to take any praise, any glory, or any mm. honor for ourselves. When we do that, we are out of the will of God. Oh, Amen. Glory and praise to God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We are on an assignment like none other on today. Yeah. 
Yes. God has given us specific instructions because I'm going to tell you, for me and the type of person that I am, I would have handled it and, and, and addressed it differently. But when God tells you to do something, you better do it just like he says and the order that he gives you and then the steps that he gives you because yes. he gives you, he's going to give you the instructions, the directions, and then he's going to give you the instructions, the instructions, directions, the steps in the name yes. of Jesus. Jesus, yes. we welcome each and every one of you to minister engagement. Like I said, today is what is different from other times. It, it is, it is. So, so mm -hmm. It is different. We ask that you like, we ask that you share, we ask that you comment, because we are going to be addressing from commandments of God, commission from God specific things that is dealing with something that is going on in the society that God told us to check it, to correct yes. it, to bring correction so that the people can be healed and that delivered because many, he says they're digging their own graves. Yes. He hear this, hear this, and they do not realize it. And so he has called us for to bring uh, wisdom to yeah. that particular situations and situations that people are far too being coming engrossed into. Mm, Jesus. On last Monday, we were here and we were preaching last Monday and that we were pre on uh, God on last Monday, we were covering a prophetic warning. God mm -hmm. had been giving a prophetic warning and he had yeah. been giving it. And if anybody saw the post, mm -hmm. that you knew that God had been speaking. Now, God is the God of the, the creator of heaven and earth. The same yeah. God that gave yeah. um, Apostle Davidson and I all the way back in 2019 COVID. But on um, back mm -hmm. in like what May June we started telling people at the end of the May and June COVID the war so many of the prophetic warnings that had came into manifestation and so yeah. when he came before the people on last Monday yes she yeah, got to see here this here this we yeah. came in official business like we're here every day and came specifically with a prophetic warning yeah. to the people of God so that means not. A little bit, but every single thing that we said was from the Lord God with instructions on it. And as the Holy Spirit guides some things that I didn't have in the bullet points, he gave me to spoke because mm -hmm. he knew and he sees who's going to watch, who's going to mm -hmm. be there, and who may be up there at that particular time to where he loved you so much that he is mm -hmm. reaching out to give you and each one of us a life-giving word because he didn't yeah. have to warn us about COVID. He doesn't have to warn us about these things, but he does. So on last Monday, um, and so, so many times, you have people that will take the word. They People want to, you have the New Testament and the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. You got some people that want to maybe either go by the Old Testament only and not the New Testament, the New Testament only and not the Old. And then you've got some that want to take only parts that they want mm -hmm. to go in and incorporate in their life. So then that way they still can live their lives the way that they want to, but not truly according to the unadulterated written word of God. Yes, she yeah, got out of yeah, got to see here this. We cannot go by a part of it. We cannot go by just a part that we like or we want to go by. And so I would still be up in the club repenting every night. And when mm -hmm. I come home from the club, you hear what I'm saying? But no, you got to pray for conviction and conversion. Mm -hmm. You got to have conviction and conversion and the Holy Spirit to help you to hear, to walk, to be guided by God in anything and everything. The Holy Spirit is a keeper. He is a comforter. He will guide you when you want to go right. Mm -hmm. And he's, God is telling you to go left. The Holy Spirit will have you going left. 
Yes, he, he will. will guide you every step of the way. I'm a, a witness. We are a witness. You know what I mean? Yes. Plus, God has even chastised us up here to where mm -hmm. God told the ones that got to laugh out loud to where he says, what did I say? I told him, no, da, 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 da. And so we even posted it to show other people how to handle chastisement, how to handle correction, where to handle it with joy and be in praise and thank God. You know, I'd be like cracking out. I'd be like, okay, God, you get me, okay? Because I would not be the woman of God. I would not be an apostle. I would not be walking heavy in a prophetic anointing mm -hmm. had I not taken chastisement and correction. When you got people that are over me, I listen, I hear, I receive. Apostles of God, they help set the house, the church in order. Yeah. That's one of our tasks. That's one of them. On last Monday, people ICGs the text and exegetes the text. I've used that terminology sometimes, but today, for those that do not understand, it's really imperative that you understand. Apostle Davidson, what does isogees in the text mean? Amen. Isogees is a way of interpreting a text by imposing the reader's own ideas. The what? By the reader's what? The, the reader's own ideas. Yeah, on the reader's own idea, not the Bible's idea, but the reader's own ideas. Okay. Bias our agenda into the text. Okay. It, okay, go on, woman of God. Yes. This is it, is also, it's, it is also known as eisegesis, which is commonly referred to as reading into the text. Eisegesis okay. is, is different from exegesis, which is a method of interpreting text by drawing out the meaning, true meaning from the text in according with, in according with the context and the struggle of the meaning of its author. Amen, amen. So when you look at the biblical scripture text, you got to read it looking at the content and context. You got to know what was going on during that time period. Who was the population? What was the circumstances? What happened before? What happened afterwards? Yeah. You got to look and research. And that's what happened. So, so many people will ICGs it. Mm -hmm. Meaning they put their own interpretation, their own spin on it, and they'd be messed up. They'd be walking in sin, thinking mm -hmm. that the word says this, and it doesn't because mm -hmm. they isogees it, not exogees it. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, isogees is I-S-O-G-E-S-I-S. -S -S. And mm -hmm. exogees is spelled two ways. It's E-X-E-G-E-S-I-S. -E -E -S. That's the way I learned it in, um, in, in the academy. Okay, to God be all the glory. Okay. God tells us, we have seen various scriptures, such as in Matthew 18, 15 through 16. What does it say in that woman of God? I want y'all to go back. I want y'all to write that down. Everybody, Matthew 18, put 15 through 17. Everybody read it. Learn it and get it in your heart and do it. Apostle Davidson is going to read 18, 15 through 16 today. Amen. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Wait a minute. Between who? Them alone? Yes. Wait a minute. What about on Facebook Live? Or what about no. on Facebook? What about no. on social media? No. What about uh, uh, telling everybody else in the world but the person? No. Okay. What does it say again? <laughs> Moreover, if thy brother should trespass against thee, go and tell him his, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Him alone, okay, all right, okay. If, if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Amen, amen. But if he will not hear thee, then, then. take with thee, then would take with thee one or two more, that, it, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Amen, so the word of God written tells us if you have a ought against your brother or sister, you go to them first and tell them. 
Then if they don't want to listen, then if they don't want to hear, then you go and take it to somebody else to say, hey, let's go talk to our sister and brother so they can understand this. Then if they don't do it, then, then you bring it before the body. Mm-hmm. And in the word of God on, on, on last week, that on that same Monday that we were um, brought up about sage, this is about burning sage. We brought up burning sage. And I couldn't understand why during the prophetic warning, um, God had us to read Hosea 4, 6. And it says, my people are being destroyed because they don't know me and that they refuse to know me and they refuse to recognize and they perish because of a lack of knowledge. They don't know the word of God. They do not know. They're being destroyed because they don't know me. And it talks about how God is going to hold who? The priest accountable. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, what was done left us no opportunity or in anything but Mm -hmm. to come to the people of God. I understand even more now, woman of God, why Mm -hmm. God God is doing this way. I'm just. It went, it went shoot over my head. Yeah. But I understand now why he got it doing this way. Mm-hmm. When I made this statement last week that witchcraft, running sage, is a form of witchcraft. Mm-hmm. A person did not handle it the way that the word of God tells us to. And Matthew um 18 15 through 17 they uh, instead of coming to the person the teachers that taught it and getting more clarity just like when you're in the school you go and ask the teacher hey i'm not understanding this can you help me you do not take it to social media to go get even witches and people that are not saved opinions when it comes to your soul salvation in the word of God, we even talked about at that time in Galatians 6, 1 through 2, Luke 7, 3, Ephesians 5, 11. And we even covered and talked about that last Monday, too. That mm-hmm. when you see your brother or sister in a fall, you are to be there to help them up out of it. Yeah. So yeah. many people are falling because they think that burning sage is okay. It is not. It is a yeah. form or you're gonna see a witchcraft or you're gonna see hear this, hear this, or you're gonna see. God has sent us for today for correction and for you to repent and for you to close every single portal because your life is at stake. He said earlier that people are digging their own graves and do not realize this. That it tells us also in First Corinthians, I mean Chronicles sixteen twenty two. It says, "Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm." And see, yeah. the God was telling me that the woman of God and all those that came. That first of all, God said that blessings to all mm-hmm. of those that did not agree. Well, he's going to send abundant blessings to every single person that responded on that post and indicated that it is witchcraft. And he said, mm-hmm. well done, oh, yeah, gotta mm-hmm. see. well done, mm-hmm. well done, oh, yeah, gotta see. stand, 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 oh, yeah, gotta see. stand during the persecution, so you gotta see. stand for righteousness, oh, yeah, gotta see. stand mm-hmm. on the word of God, mm-hmm. yeah, gotta see. Yeah, gotta see. abundant blessings and protection. Mm-hmm. Mm, you're gonna see God says a triple portion. Hey, oh, hallelujah. Mm, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, He says a triple portion for each person that stood 
and spoke the true word of God. He's going to bless you abundantly. He says to continue and go forth on with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. He says that far too many people are slamming other people on social media. Instead of you going and telling the person, you splatter your business all over. You call yourself getting people straight. You call yourself, I'm going to get them. I'm going to go up here and embarrass them. You know what you are? God told me to say that you are a social media bully. You are bullying people, and he is not pleased and for you to repent. God said that by this person going in and doing a post to say is which burning stage, which platform of witchcraft, what that did, he said that it opened up several portals. Mm -hmm. It opened up a portal against you coming against God's anointing, mm -hmm. against God's people against something, a prophetic warning that God had us to come and give to the people. You came, didn't come against us. You came against God himself. Yes. And that is why God is telling us to go forth. He says that, that, that what that act did, it was a woman, a person that was gathering uh, a, 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 a gathering together, a coven of 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 coven of witches, a coven mm -hmm. of people coming and making a covenant of evil to come afterwards and to make it even worse. She tagged us in it, mm -hmm. and so in tagging us, that made all these witches and these demons. And these soothsayers, Jesus, necromancies, mm -hmm. it caused by doing something in such an ungodly way, called us to have to go into a fight that mm -hmm. was not any need to go and do that, especially because the person called themselves a Christian. God mm -hmm. told me that we, we, I went out up there and I understand it now. Because somebody was saying, well, aren't you blasting this on social media? No, that's all that was. <coughs> well, Lord, I, I understand now because the person, what they did is they put it on social media instead of talking to me. And so I went in individually and talked to the woman back on social media, but then all, the, all, all these other folks said, so mm -hmm. she had a whole bunch of folks coming, two, three people. And so now it's like where the church is coming the part in Matthew where the church comes forth to set the matter straight, but Amen. she did not handle it in the right way. And, and, and it is so important y'all because the, 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 it's so important in this day and time that we handle absolutely everything with the yeah. help of the Lord God, yeah. we yeah. how we do things. But it should have been asked, can you give us more information? Can you go mm -hmm. teach on a whatever? But not mm -hmm. go and go and put it out there and splatter it out on social media like we are wrong in giving the word of God. Mm -hmm. And so God is giving us specifics. And so the spirit, when the spirit of God leaves a person, we go into sin. And that I and it clearly in Exodus 3, I mean, in Exodus 20, it clearly states, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. No other gods. And so a person may be like, how is this a God? Stay with us and we're going to let you know how God and why God is saying to get it together. At this time, mm -hmm. I yield to you, Apostle Davidson. Amen, amen. Our scriptures, amen, where God talks about strange fire, amen, because sage is, is like a strange fire, Ooh. Lord. Exodus 30, verses 8 through 9, and when Aaron lighteth the lamps, no, excuse me, Leviticus 10, 1, Leviticus 10, 1, and Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer 
and put fire therein and put incense thereon and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. Not to do. Not to do. And after they offered strange fire before the Lord, fire came off the altar and killed them. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. So we cannot offer strange fire before the Lord and say, well, I'm just doing this. I'm just doing that. God says not to. Amen. 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 Don't offer strange fire. Ah. Exodus 30, verse 8 through 9. And when Aaron lieth the lambs at even, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. You shall offer no strange incense. And some people say, well, I'm doing it just to make my house feel good. I'm doing it to drive out evil, evil, evil energy. Mm-mm. No. Plead the blood of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Say it again. House. Say it again. Plead the blood of Jesus over your house. Anoint your doorpost, your windows, every part of your house with anointed oil. Mm-hmm. Don't use anything that, that, that God says not to. Strange fire. That's right. That's right. It opens it opens doors for you for devils to, to come in. I was watching a video one day and somebody had burned sage in the house and uh, all sorts of Paranormal activity started happening. Mm-hmm. Stuff started falling off the shelves. Doors started started opening. Lights started blinking and moving. Why? Because it opened up portals for demons exactly. to come into their house. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Amen. Deuteronomy eight. Deuteronomy eighteen ten through twelve. There should not be found am- among you anyone that makes his son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, Amen. or a charm, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. Oh, For so all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Say and it again, say of, it again, woman of God. What does it say? For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Yes, Lord. And because of these things, abominations to the Lord, thy God shall drive them out from before thee. Jesus, Jesus. So stop it. Because you don't want to be, you don't want God to consider you to be an abomination, saying you you belong to him, but you're doing all, you're burning sage, you're doing necromancy, you're doing witchcraft. Amen. 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 Jeremiah 18, 15 says, Because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to ba- vanity. And they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient past to walk in past in a way not cast up. God said, you causing other people to stumble. Mm, that's good. That's good. Exactly. Exactly. Because you you because. you consider you say it, you say it's okay. Mm. I, I, lead, leaders, quote unquote, church leaders saying it's okay. Continue showing love. No, you causing people to stumble. And I'm gonna say it just like this. It was it's a minister yes. out there that responded saying that yes. it is okay. Yes. And you are a minister. You are not yes. a minister. The spirit no. of the Lord God has left yes. you. Yes. Just like it left Saul, just like it left Balaam. You are mm-hmm. operating, causing people to sin. And the yeah. word of God tells you that God is going to hold you accountable. It's Read you. the word of God. Amen. I'm not Amen. with this. God Amen. says that he is angry. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Proverbs 14 and 12 says, There is a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. There was a woman up there that, that responded saying, well, I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't do it, but I don't see anything wrong with it. The word of God says, there's a way to see what's right unto a man. It may seem right to you, but what, God, what does God say about it? If he says it's an abomination, it's an abomination. That's Quit right. offering strange fire un, un, before the Lord because he will cut you off. Keep doing it. He, God's not mm-hmm. playing. Right. We, we call other people to stumble, ministers. Oh, mm, Jesus, my God, my God. I'm gonna say this one. This one, one last thing I gotta say. Pastors, start teaching the word of God. That's right. Quit, quit, talk, quit just talking about blessings and and all this stuff. Quit exciting the people that they're gonna get blessed. They living raggedy. They burning sage. 
God says, stop it. And I'm going to talk about a couple of the reasons. I'm not going to go into I'm not going to spend all that much time talking yeah. about witchcraft. But people say that they burn sage to get rid of evil spirits. Mm-hmm. People burn sage because the in the Bible, it talked about making sacrifices uh, and mm-hmm. that they used the sage to make sacrifices. They did the smoke. They said that it will get rid of any evil in, mm-hmm. in that that is around. But the word of God tells us in, in Exodus 20, three mm-hmm. through six, not to have any additional gods. In first mm-hmm. Corinthians 10, 14, it says, mm-hmm. therefore, my dear friends, flee from idolatry. Do y'all yes. remember the scene in the, on the Ten Commandments or scenes like in some mm-hmm. movies where Pharaoh's son had died and that they, I mean, and he was sick and they were mm-hmm. there with all the witch doctors and the sorcerers and they all were there burning incense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did not Pharaoh's son still die? Mm-hmm. Did he not still die? John, 1 John 5, 21 says, Dear children, keep mm. yourselves from idols. Colossians mm. 3, 5 says, put to death. Devil Therefore, shot. whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexuality, immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Someone mm-hmm. says, well, God made the... Mm. The, the everything for it to be used it's according to how you use it they make the, the poppy seeds they got the cocoa plant they got the marijuana and all of this but just because they got the the the, the, the cocoa plant so you're telling me it's okay for me to take cocaine it's okay mm-hmm. for me to, to to ingest this and to burn it the cocaine mm-hmm. To, 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 to make my body feel better to use it. So just be caught. What about the mushrooms? Mm. Got poisonous mushrooms. So know. it's how you use it. Is it going to keep you sober? Is it going to keep you in the right mindset? Is it going to keep you in an alignment with God? So many of you are taking the word of God and taking what God created and you're twisting it. And while we mm-hmm. define the word isogenes, the text mm-hmm. in the beginning, yes. because you're taking it and you're twisting it to suit your own purpose. Mm-hmm. And oh, God yeah. is not pleased at, at oh, all. Yeah. He is upset about this thing to where he's seeing this, that, 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 that that's going on. Jesus, right here, it says that in Matthew 24, 24, that even the elite will be Mm -hmm. and and, in later times. We see that burning sage is what is considered a new age ministry, a new age type of witchcraft, a new age type of thing. Take the pictures. You know, God says, don't even put the pictures up there to show Mm -hmm. people. Right. Because even when you look at it, it don't look right. It don't mm. look right. Nope. And then the woman of God, I'm just, I mean, it just behooves me. I'm like, I, you know, God had his teaching about how people's minds were mm-hmm. being conditioned, mm-hmm. you know, for the, to receive the sign of the beast. Yes. This is just an example of how mm-hmm. people's minds are being conditioned. There's a scripture, I have it in here somewhere, that talks about not being quick to to to, to go on any fad, anything that somebody mm-hmm. gives you. Don't be so gullible to believe it. Oh, and just because particular cultures did it, that I, I mean, they're talking people saying, well, the Indians' culture, they did it a long time ago. Well, back in Africa, before we knew about Jesus and some different things, they do voodoo. They do yes, they, do. they, they mm-hmm. make dolls and stick pins in it. So is that still okay today? Because you still got some uh, some cultural groups doing it? No, it doesn't. It hey, doesn't excuse you to go in and make pins and dolls when you come up here making these um the the the, the sage bundles and burning it. You're doing the mm-hmm. same thing. 
Just because the culture did it, does that mean it's right? We mm. were taught about the blood of Jesus. Amen. Okay, let me do some history. Mm -hmm. Woman, there's scriptures. There's so many scriptures that we have that mm -hmm. talks about, okay, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to say Isaiah 53 and 5. It talks about healing through Jesus Christ. Go back and read it. Hebrews Amen. 10, 18. There is no more need for a sin offering. Yes. Y'all have ICGs to text. Y'all yes. looking at it like back in, in, in the Old Testament. It mm -hmm. talks about how the sacrificial offerings was given into mm -hmm. the we gave the Lord God the best, the unblemished lamb, the unspotted lamb. We gave him the best of the best. And we Amen. laid it before the altar of God. Mm -hmm. and we made sacrifices unto him. Even Abraham was done when he was gonna go and make the ultimate sacrifice of his only begotten son. Yeah. You see uh -huh. what I'm saying? Because that's what God told him to do. So he wasn't mm -hmm. even going to do that until he yeah. says, don't touch him. When there was Man. a ram in the bush. Hmm. There's a ram in the bush for many of yeah. y'all who are not tapping into it. Because people up here tapping into every idolatry, every fad, every new mm -hmm. age form of witchcraft instead of the Lord God Almighty. But do you know that when Jesus died on the cross, I'm like, my God, woman of God, what are they thinking? When I Jesus died on the cross, Jesus mm. Christ, what are you going to say? He was the sacrifice for our sins. He paid the cost for us. Yes, I think therefore, I mean, they, they, they persecuted him. They yeah. tortured him. They beat him down bloody. They took a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They pierced his side. They did yeah. everything they could. You hear me? Everything they could. But they he died for us. And he went through all of that that we can have everlasting life. So we get a second chance to get into heaven. Mm. So we no longer have to do the sacrifices. We no longer have to do the incense to put the unblemished lamb there. We no longer have to do that. You know why? 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 First, the blood mm. of Jesus is oh, stronger. Lord. You hear me? The stronger than any smoke, any yeah. fire. Any burning, any stage, any incense, anything that is a new age fad. We got Jesus Christ. The yes. blood. Amen. The, the blood of Jesus Christ was born yes. with you. By shape. What's wrong with you? And you say that you say, what is mm. wrong with you? And then we got the name of Jesus that will set every demon to flight. Oh, shut up. I need that. The only thing you need is the blood of Jesus. If you yes. want something, go grab your anointing oil. Yes, grab yes. your anointing oil. But the only thing you got to do, you come in your house and say, Jesus, Jesus, works, in God. the name of Jesus Christ, Satan, get out my house. Yes. Get off my children. Get off of whatever. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And you yes. cast that thing to wherever yes. Jesus will have it to go. And then there must be a release. You release yes. the blood of Jesus. Yes, the anointing of God will destroy every yoke. Yes. That whatever is up in your house is sitting there mm -hmm. laughing at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. At you. Yes, it and is. And you know what? Whatever is in your house is pointing you. Because when mm -hmm. you lit that sage and went around your house, whatever is in your corner, whatever is going on, it went in you. Because you yes. lost faith. Mm -hmm. You lost the faith in Jesus Christ, knowing that all things are possible through him. You yeah. lost the faith in the Jesus that died on the cross, that we can have everlasting life. And you picked up idolatry. You picked up idols. You picked up root work. You picked up just all yeah. kind of stuff to come up in you. And then you have the, the nerve to come up here and bless us for preaching the word of God. Oh, yeah, God, I see shame on mm -hmm. you. 
Shame on you. There's not enough preachers, there's not enough pastors with the compassion and the conviction to preach the true unadulterated yeah. word of God. Don't worry yeah. about numbers. They're worried about the tithes, the offerings. Yeah. We don't ask for no money. We don't. Yeah. We come with the truth. Yeah. And then Sorry. what you do is you come up and don't know what you're doing to yourself. Yeah. May God forgive you. Yes. I forgive each and every one of you yes. that are not picking up the word of God and reading it where you think burning sage, where you think that witchcraft is stronger than the blood of Jesus, where you think yes. witchcraft is smoking some sage bundle and fe a feather, going up there, I saw videos, people putting it in the face. Taking mm. in demon spirits. Some people walking around in legion. And mm -hmm. what you did and how you handled the situation tells me you're already yoked with something mm -hmm. inside of you. Because yeah. the Holy Spirit would not have allowed you to do it. Man. The Holy Spirit would not have allowed you to do such a thing. Bravo, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, yeah. yes, Lord. Jesus, the Holy Spirit. I, I mean, I, we got all these pages here. I, I, yeah. I, I Jesus, the woman of God, yeah. I yield to you. I yield to Amen. you at this time. Amen. First Corinthians ten, verse thirty-one through thirty-three says, "Whether ye that whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God." Vernon says you can you ain't giving glory to God. You open up doors to the devil. Yes. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of men, that they may be saved. Mm, yeah. Faith can save you. Good work can't save you. Kudu can't save you. That Palo Alto you're talking about can't save you. Only the blood of Jesus can save and set free and deliver. Say so. Save, open you up to demonic possession. And if you were if you were saved and you started burning sage, guess what? You open up the door for seven more worse than the, the demons that you were delivered from to come back and possess you. Yeah, overtake yeah. your uh, possess you so uh, oppress you and suppress you yes 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 the, i just read the scripture where it says anything we do we're supposed to do it to the glory and honor of yes, god himself yes 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 back spread spread what you don't like on social media you weren't giving glory to god you were giving glory to yourself your flesh and God's not pleased with it at all. That's right. He's not pleased. He's angry. So repent today. Repent and get it right yes, with God. Yes, yes, yes. Repent. repent. God say repent now. Don't wait another second. You got to repent. And ask God to forgive you for what you've done. Amen. Yes, I yield to your body. Um. Can you read, um, hold on, nothing stronger. Um, now hold on. Man. The blood of Jesus. Yes. Okay, we're right. coming against burning sage, nothing stronger than the blood of Jesus. Join us Facebook Live. I'm posting it that right now because God yeah. is letting me know there's just too many people burning it. I'm posting it. Y'all share this yeah. word to people. Yeah. Share this yeah. word to people. And yeah. then Jesus yeah. share it, let yeah. them receive it. Yeah. And that we see here, and I, I think I've already told you in Luke 22, 3, Satan entered into Judas who was called Issachar, belonging mm. to the number 12. So we see firsthand yeah. someone that was saved and walking with God and evil spirits enter into them. Jesus, Jesus. And we see that in 2 Peter 2, 4, Two and verse four, for if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them into darkness, mm -hmm. what would make us think 
Mm. It's okay for us mm. to come up with new age stuff, such as burning mm. stage, and think that we are not going to be judged. And you yeah, have every it. type of crazy, I'm going to call crazy, excuse under the sun to mm -hmm. rationalize it. I see Jesus in the text when mm -hmm. Jesus died that we could be yeah. that sacrifice. Jesus, I mean, that, that he would be the sacrifice. Jesus, yeah. for us. Jesus my God, my God. And oh, she what, listen to this one, my God. Mm -hmm. Titus 3.10 says, as far as a person who stirs up the vision after mm. warning him, once mm. and then twice have nothing mm. more to do with him uh -huh. and so mm -hmm. I, I i pray that there's a change because mm -hmm. if not I'm, I'm not gonna block you because you need the word of god i'm yes, not gonna yes. block anybody that need, need the word of god i want you to receive it because yeah. you need healing but the word of god even in second thessalonians 3 and 14 it it, it, it talks about not obeying that, that mm -hmm. when God tells us to do something and that mm -hmm. what we got to do, we cannot keep isogenes in the text, but we got to go mm -hmm. by the unadulterated word mm -hmm. of God at all times. It was, yeah. um, hold on, hold on, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yeah. Mm, my God, my God. Yes, God, he also was telling me regarding um, that when people are burning the sage in the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. that was written by John when he was on the island of um, Patmos around 90, 95 AD. Because mm -hmm. people, as we see, just like Apostle Davidson and I, are being persecuted because we come forth with the true unadulterated word of mm -hmm. God. We don't have to worry about uh, no tithes or offerings because we don't ask for no money. And then, too, even if we did, we didn't care, don't care. We're going to do what God says. You hear me? Because we want to go to heaven. I don't like heat. Uh, we, we, don't, <laughs> uh, we do not like heat. But God tells us when John wrote in the book of Revelation, which is the mm -hmm. only book with a promise for those mm -hmm. who read it. We got some people that do not and have not read the book of Revelation and the reason why they fear it. Now, if you are fearing the book of Revelation, then how are you living your life? Uh, you need to hmm. be fearing even more, not going into heaven and reading it and seeing what you need to do and looking at the signs of the time, which what yeah. we are seeing some of those signs and times now. Mm -hmm. However, it tells us, and when you yeah. go sage, you kind of go into some of these churches. Okay? Yes. It's like some of the churches are, are kind of mm -hmm. like overlapping each other. Amen. They're mm -hmm. kind of like overlapping. Amen. Okay, when we look at the Pergamon, mm -hmm. the Pergamon, they were condemned for false mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of churches just going to be condemned. Because mm -hmm. of shepherds and preachers, and, and just like somebody made a post, a minister that was up on, on her post, mm -hmm. that posted saying there's nothing wrong with um, Bernie Sage. You are mm -hmm. a part of the church of uh, uh, a Pergamon. Mm -hmm. You are. You false teaching. You are mm -hmm. teaching mm -hmm. false doctrine. Yeah. You are a part of the church of Pergamon. Anyone that teaches that witchcraft, it's not a sin, and it's a part of idolatry. It is sin. It is a devil's tool. Yeah. You will be gone. You're a part of the Church of Pergamon. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Church of Europe also can be a part of the Church of Thyria. I mean, mm -hmm. to pronounce it for me, woman of God. Because you know, Okay. Thyatal. Okay. Thyatal. okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to be condemned for your unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. And you know why? Because mm, well, heart out to people, it does. Mm -hmm. Because you believe that burning sage is more powerful than the blood of Jesus. You believe, even though Jesus died on the cross, you believe that burning sage, a uh, 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 Indian cult, because mm. we talked about the African-American cult, 
I mean, mm-hmm. for part two, you know, you see what I'm saying? And stuff, and, and about the voodoo, hoodoo, the dolls. And so, but but Jesus died. Yeah. As you're believing in a smoke and a feather burning it around your house, not even saying the Lord's Prayer. Because mm. do you know that there are particular prayers that they pray that go along mm. with this? Yep. Mm-hmm. Idolatry. They're going mm-hmm. around the house for a smoke stick. Mm. Now just, just imagine this something's going smoking and going like this around the house. Good Lord. Only thing I got to say is Satan, get thee behind me in the name of Jesus. Satan, in the name of Jesus, get out my house. Yes. You spend that money. What about the woman of the issue of blood? Spent all of that money, years spend the money. And so I've seen all those doctors and everything. Jesus, she just touched the hem of the garment. Yes. Didn't touch him, the hem of the garment. And her faith made her whole. Man. Where are where is your faith? You're mm. the church in the church of Thyroid, you don't have no faith. My you God. Have left God, and many of you, you don't even realize it. Mm. A woman of God, I'm gonna put it out there. You teaching children, Jesus. Mm. You teaching children. My God, I don't want my child around you. You teach, and you up here burning sage, Lord. I don't want those demon spirits to get up on them. Mm. You go and selling stuff. How many, how many demons is attached to that stuff? People, y'all better go and pray for your children. Yeah. You better call yeah. your children before they get out. Yeah. You better pray anybody that's selling anything before you bring anything home in your house. Before you come home, you better pray over yourself because there are Christians out here. Yeah. Christians. Yeah. Woman of God, read that one to talk about the Christian that went to the the witch and she don't see nothing wrong with it. Read that one. Can you find that one? It was, yes. a, 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 it was a Christian saying that she's a Christian and she went to the white witch. Oh, I'm... and that you don't see nothing wrong. And then it was one that said, while well, you finding that one, there was one that said that, oh no, you don't that you don't use the burning sage, you use salt. And anointing oil. I, I I hate to tell you, but salt is witchcraft too. It's the same concept of the sage, burning the sage. Why yeah. do you need salt? That's old school. Put the salt at the door. Put the salt in the corners or sweet salt. Sprinkle salt around the witchcraft. What's wrong with you? Mm. The blood of Jesus. What you do mm. you don't like that? You put anoint mm. your door. You anoint the seals. You lay your hands on the door. God, in the name of Jesus, bind up any imp, any demonic spirit, anything that is not of Christ, that it will not enter into my house. Hmm. Lord God, I, I open up my doors. I open up my doors. I open up my windows. And I go up here like and go through my house. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, bind up every imp, bind up every imp, and, uh, 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 imp any demons, anything that's been sent, anything that's been conjured up. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, bind it up, up, go through my ceilings, dust might, whatever. If I have brought forth anything in here lord in the name of jesus rebuke it and cast it all out my house fill my house fill it with the blood of jesus from the very rooftop shingles to the very foundation to to from from the 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 block i play from a whole lot from the block all around the building everything and i ask god to watch Amen. In the blood of Jesus. I tell them to watch it. Watch and purge. Watch and purge. Lord, watch and purge. That's why there's no watch and purge. Yeah. God, that there's no evil. And then I ask God that his anointing be released to destroy any remnants, any yoke, and that his anointing and his presence. And then I pray that he, because we can put, and we cover it down on demonology and angelology, how we can put demon, I mean demons to flight, how we can put a, a angels on assignment 
That's one of God gave us angels to put on assignment. So why are you burning sage? And you can ask God to send one of your his angels to come in your house and stand in each one of your homes to fight for you. To go in, send the angel to your house to 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 keep you and your family protected, to, to mm. change it. And you too, each and every one of us should be living a life, being consecrating ourselves, fasting, yeah. praying, communing with God, picking up the word of God. My pastor, uh, Pastor uh, Adams, he even taught the other day how many of y'all are picking up that cell phone or, or, or the, the, to look at Instagram. I'm, I'm adding Facebook to it before you even say thank you, God. Yes. How many of y'all are like addicted to Facebook? Or do you, how many Christians right now are even picking up their Bible and reading it and spending time in the Lord? God has told us to come forth to yeah. let you know that witchcraft is real. It is real. And we're teaching on it. But so many people don't realize that they're bounding themselves. They're engulfing themselves in witchcraft. So don't mm -hmm. use salt. That person that put up there, you salt. No. Use mm -hmm. the blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ was the sacrifice. Oh. I yield to uh, I yield to you. I didn't didn't finish yet the churches, but I'm going to yield to you right now. Amen. They said they, they uh, I borrowed it from a I've used it. I borrowed it from a white witch. We had some negative energy in the last office I worked in. I had someone help me. And we followed her instructions. She gave me a prayer to say while we weighed the sage. That prayer was asking God to clear the negative energy. Sounds strange since he, since he is a white witch. There was nothing demonic about we did, what we did or said. Yes, the negative energy left. I too also always thought it to be some kind of witchcraft. Now you're going to be burning sage and calling on God too? You can't serve two masters. You can't serve two masters. You're going to love one and hate the other, clean the one and despise the other. You can't, you can't burn sage and, and call on God too? Uh-uh. Nope. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. The um, the Church of Sardis was condemned for unreality. Mm -hmm. That's a person that's not living in reality. People that God tells us to guard our minds. He teaches us to be sober and vigilant because yeah. the adversary, the devil, seeketh as a roaring lion to seek mm -hmm. whom he may devour. Yeah. We have to protect our minds by what we see, yeah. by what we hear, yeah. by what we take in, yeah. what we smell. Huh? Because I don't know if y'all have ever smelled a demon, but it's a file odor. It's a file odor. Yeah. When the person is burning the sage and they're seeing that they're inhaling the, the the properties to cleanse them they are not cleansing themselves their spirit their spirit can be cleansed through the blood of jesus amen the spirit can be cleansed through the word of god mm -hmm. the spirit can be cleansed by yeah. christ into your heart as your savior, amen. Your savior. when they feel that breathing in that smoke is going to cleanse them they're not in reality. Nope, they breathe in They're deep. not. We see so many people these days. I, I I don't know what it is, but their their minds are bewitched. Mm -hmm. Come out. Come yep. out of being bewitched. Come yes. out of the bewitchment. Yes. Come yes. out. I see Jesus in the text. Mm -hmm. Read the word of God. Yes, it will shine like my right now, woman of God. A God told me this to say this every uh, I think I thank God. But so many times I hear a saying, just like today, that we read the scripture to where it says, um, the um do not touch God anointed and do mm -hmm. them no harm. God tells telling us 
to keep your hands off of God's people because you do not come after them. Get them, you're coming after God. Yeah. Right now, people, talk to your children. If they don't know and parents that don't have your children in church, put them in church. Put mm -hmm. down the laptops, put down the cell phones. Don't have them on electronic devices while the word is going on. Mm -hmm. Allow them to hear the word of God being preached that they will know how to fight spiritually because they don't. And they're being suckered in by every new fad, new wave. Right now, I don't think, I, I'm, I'm just gonna just hope and pray that the people don't realize that they're coming against the children of God, God's chosen people. Keep your mouth and your hands off of God's chosen people. If you do mm. not understand, go to the, the people of God and ask uh, you know, for clarity. And then we have the church of Lady Odyssey, mm -hmm. which is where the people have became lukewarm. Mm -hmm. When you burn sage, you cold. Mm -hmm. You're cold. You look warm. Mm -hmm. You look warm and cold. You do not know the power. Amen. See, I know a God. Mm, Jesus, my God. That told the woman to that 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 told the man to pick up that man and walk, and he walked. Mm -hmm. You see, I serve a God. To where I have seen demons cast out of people. Yeah, I serve a God to where Duke University Medical Center documented it as a miracle of God. I'm mm -hmm. a, a witness to seeing somebody on their deathbed and whispering to them to pick up thy bed and walk. Mm -hmm. And the person got up immediately. I serve a God to where I'm on the, 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 the Pacific Caribbean seas. And I say, in the name of Jesus, peace be still. And the storm stopped. Yeah. And you see, this was not through me, but through Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. I did not burn a sage to that. Could not mm. sprinkle salt do that. Mm. Do not separate yourself from any person that says that they're your friend. Mm. I'm gonna give you advice. Mm. It's okay to burn sage. Separate yourself from anyone that tells you that it's okay to sin. And God mm. clearly says in the word of God that he is a jealous God and not to have any other gods before him. Amen. We serve a God that is all powerful. We serve a God to where his son, Jesus Christ is going to come back. Yeah, he's he coming back and he's yeah. going to be taking people with him that truly know him. Mm -hmm. But on, uh, on, on October, the first, a woman of God, do you have anything else you wanted to add to? I know you do. You got a lot to say. And did you want to um, look at any yes. of the comments too? Yes, I yield to you at this time. Hey Amen. Uh, the other churches in uh, Revelation 2 talk about the church at Ephesus. Yes. Where it says, Jesus said, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and has found them liars. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, thou hast left thy first love. If we told, told the church, that you burn the sage, well, yeah, you say you love God, you left God and picked up sage, and say you love sage more than you love God. If you love God, you, you won't put, have picked up sage and burn the sage and, and saying you cast out demons, gather more demons into your house by burning sage. Jesus came to set the captives free. But burn sage, you binding yourself up in your mind, your soul, and your spirit, and binding your families up and your house up full of demons. Amen. You're just like the church at Ephesus. Amen. Yes. yes. Um, someone says, no, it isn't. Sage was used by 
um, American Native Americans and it's cleanse, uh, used for cleansing your home and spirit for centuries. And it turns out that they are technically white. It's a chemical. I, again, the blood of Jesus would cleanse yes. your house. Yes. And we yes. went through that regarding that there are ethnic groups that did voodoo dolls. And, and so, so does that mean that it's right? Just because mm. a, a, a person does it, does it mean it's right? Wiccans, they do voodoo. So does that make it right because of a particular culture? No, it doesn't. We have to use our heads. We do. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, did me, you want to um, do one now, a woman of God? Let me go back. <laughs> I left. Well, amen. But I, I want to make this statement. If you want your house to smell good, invite Jesus in. And your house will, your house will smell so good. Cause I, I've I've been I've I've asked him I've been around Jesus and he'll put a sweet taste in my mouth. Amen. You it, it it tastes sweeter than the, than the honeycomb. Amen. You don't need sage to, to uh, make your house smell good. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We have someone Amen. here that used Second Kings two nineteen through twenty two talking about how they use the salt to heal people, using salt to heal people and using salt to, for witchcraft of different things. Just like mm -hmm. you hear sometimes that you can use salt to go and rinse your mouth out or yeah. something like that. Using it to cleanse your house from evil spirits is a form of, of uh, witchcraft. We cleanse our houses through the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, someone yeah. says, I don't feel like it at all. I burn sage and palma santa in my home regularly and pray. You may be praying, but you're not praying to the God of the Bible. Amen. I'm just going to be honest. You're praying to some demon. You're praying to Satan and his imps because the word of God clearly tells us. And then she's up here using Psalms 91 and Psalms 23 in it. My God. You are eisegies and detect. Go mm. back to the beginning of those that are watching now. We talked about ICGs in the text. Those are mm. those that read the scripture and they put their own spin on it right. to be mm. able to say it's okay to do this. No, mm. it's not. Jesus mm. died on the cross. Yes, he did. All power was given into him to cleanse your house. Mm -hmm. First, repent. Yes. Give your repent. life to Christ. Yes. Pray Amen. that God delivers you from every demon, from every yes. spirit that has went into you from burning sage because it was portals that was opening. They're called Amen. portals, yes. they're called gateways, they're passages, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're openings, spiritual openings. When you burnt the sage, there were openings. When you sprinkled mm -hmm. the salt, you opened up pathways, portals, yes. gateways to for demons to come through and yeah. the only way to close them is through the blood of Jesus now and mm -hmm. see sometimes this woman she wanted us to go call and pray, pray for her yes we can pray for you but if you don't get right yeah only thing that's going to happen is going to open back up and more demon spirits going to come back Amen. Up. Amen. so it, it's a combination of things you got to get right you mm -hmm. got to get your life right you got yeah. to live and write. You mm. have to get to the point because you may not be able to get in touch with your pastor, that prayer person, to, to, to cast that stuff out your house. Yeah. And yeah. so one of the things that we do, we are very careful to end the teachings because mm -hmm. sometimes that there's steps that need to take place. Yeah. Like um, when there's a deliverance of somebody being delivered from a demonic spirit, that person mm -hmm. needs to be mentored. They need to be counseled. They need to be uh, worked with to let them know, hey, you have demon spirits in them. It's real. If you don't mm -hmm. stay right, if you go back out and sin, seven more from each demon that was cast out can come back up in you. Amen. And then, Amen. too, your house got to be sanctified. Mm -hmm. And then you're still bringing friends that are not of God. They're going to bring demons into your house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch who you have come in your house. Yes. You have people that were saved and they're in a backslidden state. Don't have them come up inside your house. They're going to bring demons up there in there too. 
Mm -hmm. And then there you don't have to go through review. I mean, and sometimes we bring it in our house, just like mm -hmm. somebody put something on my door. I'm going to pray over it before I, because even the envelope was half open. I'm like, mm -hmm. why is the envelope? You put it in my door. Oh, no, I'm praying over it before I bring it in. See, you got to be cautious. We got to be cautious of what we bring in, what we do. Yeah. <laughs> And the main thing is, as I'm addressing this, we cannot take the word and twist it. Yeah. So, and that too, um, I'm not even, we're not going to go into Catholic right now, but mm. yeah, absence out is good for aches and pains. But yes, using absence out to cleanse your house from demons is something totally different. Amen. Um, Amen. Do you want to address one right now, woman of God? Because we, yeah. we, we got to address some of these things. Yes. Oh. One person wrote, it's your ancestors' work. And if it's witchcraft, what, what does that mean? Before doctors and lawyers, our people went to seers, herbalists to ask for help and protection. Protect. That's all you are doing when you burn sage. That's what God, that's, God is for your protection. I just can't get over this one, saying the one that's saying, I am a Christian. Mm. I used it and I borrowed it from a white witch. Yep, there's I mean, um, nothing wrong with it i mean mm. like jesus lord have mercy um mm. uh, this is good this is good this woman of god it says um oh my god this is this one is good here i mean uh it god i i love the way he told us to handle it this one mm -hmm. says what is the intention is burning mm -hmm. stage for medical or aromatic purposes? If so, no. Um, uh, it isn't. It isn't. Okay. That mm -hmm. burning sage is witchcraft. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it says it when you go up there and do the research, witches, this is something or herb that they use to burn sage and it don't smell. I mean, like, why are you gonna burn? Go get you some vanilla. Go get you some, 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 some gray candle. Go get you something like that. Why even go close? Mm. Now that's what you call being wise. And mm -hmm. use discernment. Because yes. the adversary, our devil, is seeking about, seeking whom they can de devour. You mm -hmm. don't know if the person that raped, made that aromic virgin was a witch. Mm -hmm. Because we okay. got companies that are witchcraft-owned companies. And so you got a lot of them that you, with you coming up here trying to burn that aroma, no. Now, mm -hmm. if you're going to drink this age tea or something like that, I, I heard drinking it, I mean, drinking it like some people used to back in the day would drink it for measles to get the bumps to come out your face or whatever. I don't know. But only thing I know, the blood of Jesus yeah. will do it. I'm like, Jesus, get the blood of Jesus. Jesus, the blood of Jesus was healed. And so, but I, I love it. He says, yes, it's probably witchcraft, but we don't yeah. want to go in. I know she says that she burns it for the aroma. We just covered that because yes. you don't know who made it. You know, really? you know if they've prayed over it, people pray over stuff. Yeah, they they do. do. Um, this says, uh, if you're burning it to cleanse or on uh, yes, um, it's your ancestors' work. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I, 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 let me see. It's some good stuff up here. And it's just like, my God, my God, it's just, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, this mm -hmm. person says, wow, amazing to respond. I'm going to give my two cents. It depends on what you're using it for. You really mm -hmm. didn't specify in your question. Yes, you did. She said mm. that it was for witchcraft and stuff, burning it, and it is um, yep. witchcraft. Um, Jesus is the way. Um, it's definitely not biblical. I, 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 woman of God, do you have anything else to say as yep. we go forth on in what God has us addressing, Bernie Sage? One per one person says life is witchcraft. It's all natural, like nature. No, 
it's not all natural. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, witchcraft. it's spiritual. It's a spiritual battle. We're in a spiritual battle. We're not talking about the flesh. We talk about spiritual. Right. And so what we have to do, we have to be wise. On December, on the October the 1st of the year 2021, I, I taught a word saying, you say that I am your shepherd. Why aren't you following me? And uh, I use the scripture, Matthew 10, 16, says I send you forth as sheep in the mm. midst of wolves. Yep. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as a dove. So mm. we got to be wise because every single fad or thing that we see, it doesn't mean that we are to go and do it. And then 10, John 10, 27 says, my sheep hear my voice and, and I know them and they will follow me. God is saying to follow him. Burning sage is not of him. Putting salt down to get rid of demons is not of him. They are agencies that, that specifically make witchcraft. They're witchcraft conferences and everything. And so we yeah. have to be wise as serpents in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Mm, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, it talks about to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will straighten your path. Amen. Mm. Mm. Jesus, Jesus. Mm. Jesus, 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 I thank you, I thank you. Thank Amen. you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Then Jesus Amen. told his disciples, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take Amen. up his cross Amen. and follow me. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is calling for repentance also. Yes, he is. Galatians Amen. 5, 24 mm -hmm. through 25 clearly tells us and those who believe in Jesus Christ have been crucified. The flesh with its persons and desires. We walk and live by faith. Let us all walk by the spirit. Mm -hmm. God is saying mm -hmm. that we must crucify the flesh. One mm -hmm. may say, how do I do that? First mm -hmm. is through salvation. Yes. And, uh, it's admitting um, it's admitting our sins and, and confessing mm -hmm. it to God. Is asking God to help deliver us and to for him to help us to overcome any yes. obsessions, compulsions, things yes. that we've done. For God to Amen. do what spiritual search on us Amen. and to remove Amen. anything that we have yoked ourselves in doing. Amen. God says that um, in John, he says, I am the door. I am the good shepherd. I am the bread of life. Yeah. I am the light of the world. When you check on this, well, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the true vine. Yes. Mm, thank you, Lord God. Oh, ye gotta see. Thank you, God. Oh, God, I thank you. God is saying, well done, he's pleased yes. that we have went forth for you. Yes. He can tell the people about a dollar. Yes. Yes. He says for you to choose you this day who you're going to serve. You are not to thou shalt not have any other gods before him. He is a jealous God. He sent his son to 
his only son, Jesus. He sent his only son, Jesus, to die for us. Are you using sage? Mm -hmm. you salt? You go to witchcraft? You go to other doctrines? You go to false doctrines? You try to rationalize it by ICGs and the text? Taking it and the word and twisting it up? You try to bash his 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 his, his, his apostles. You try mm. to come against mm. those that are preaching the word of God. We don't have to. People don't have to. But we love God. We're gonna do what God says. And you get mad because you want to keep doing what you're doing. Hey, boss. You just getting mad. It's a spirit that has mm -hmm. got in you. Don't want to hear it. That spirit don't want to see it. So you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but it's spiritual wickedness. Yeah. Spirits get in us. Spirits are real. Spirits will have you doing abnormal things. It will have you going into all these abnormal doctrines when you know the way. You know what hey, it's like. Hey, on, trying to 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 go and, 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 and find ways to justify our faith by faith by faith where is your faith in god where is your faith in jesus where is your faith in the blood of jesus that he shed so for you you're seeing that it don't work Hmm. And if you're saying it, it don't work, God help you. God help your soul, Jesus. You're going to be on a one-way ticket because just like God said, he told me to tell the people that many of you have already dug your graves. You've hmm. dug it. you dug it. Yes. You haven't read the word of God. You haven't studied. God says, you don't know me. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Repent. Yes. Repent. Yes. Mm, da, 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 see, repent. Yes. If you have burnt sage, I will keep you not only need to repent. He says you need you need healing, you need deliverance. Yes. Mama Sama. God is saying that each person that you are participating in some form of a cult, mm. you're praying not the word of God, but you're praying these prayers to other gods. Mm -hmm. You're burning sage, you're sprinkling salt, you're doing everything else. You don't even go to church. I'm hearing him telling me some of them don't even go to church. They don't go and they're not studying. They're not doing what they need. God is telling me, and Apostle David said, I hear God saying that right now, today is individual. You mean, you mean, I gotta see it's individual. Mm -hmm. I'm here, you're hearing that too. Yeah. And so normally we do the call, uh, 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 Romans 10. I will tell you, Romans 10, 9 and 10. But God is saying is that each one of you that have done that and done these things, he says, don't use the excuse for aroma. Mm -mm. Uh, he says, Jesus, he says, he knows your heart. Mm. He knows Ooh. your heart. He knows your intention. Do not play. Do not play. Do not play. For each person that comes on, I see and I know that you're going to see. Do not play. Be warned, or you're gonna see. Be warned, or you're gonna see. These are mine, or you're gonna see. These are mine, or you're gonna see. They are mine, or you're gonna see. Touch not. 
for each thing you throw, for each yeah. thing you pray, God says, I'm going to pour out more. He says already when they walk in, or you gotta see demons are sent to flight, or you gotta see don't play. He says, do not play, or you gotta manasa ye gotta see. Mm, does she gotta see? He says this individual. Oh does she gotta see repent? Get it right, or ye gotta see gotta see. Mm, that shall not have any other gods so she gotta see she gotta see Jesus Jesus he said the same that happened to Aaron's son so she gotta see watch watch or she gotta see watch mm, Jesus I gotta you gotta see woman of God God says that we think that we've seen people Falling down dead recently, and they don't know why. He says, so she got to watch, or do you got to see watch, or she got to see. He's saying playtime is over, being church. Do not say mm, that you got to see, you got to see that we are his and going forth in witchcraft. But you got to see, you just stop it, and you just stop it now. But you got to be ye warned, or do you got to be ye warned, or you got to see, she got to see. Woman of God, I'm not playing with God. I'm going to go. Out. Lord God, Amen. can you do the benediction? Amen. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the word that's going forth, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Now unto him was able to keep us from falling and to present us falling before the coming of his glory with exceeding joy, be dominion and power and majesty both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.